Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. That channel is Deb Chanel's 40th World. We're going to be still talking about Portia and her comings and goings and what she's doing in Paris, France with uh, PJ rolling around on that carpet that I know is dirty as hell. Oh, got everybody foot sewn and everything and oh, I just can't, I don't like seeing that. <laughs> that drives me batty. Even though, hey, I'm nose, I'm peeping into their world. They didn't ask me to come in it, but you know, I'm nose as hell, so I just got to sit back and just be able to talk about people, okay? I, I congratulate them when they're doing good. When they fucking up, I have to come down on hard. And then when they just mediocre, then I just like, okay, I'll let that slide. But this I cannot let slide. I wish you stopped putting Facetune on Simon. You could even just look at it like you just peel that off. It's one of those hands you hold up to your face and it's somebody else and it's hiding your face. Portia, why don't you stop doing that? Now, that is a more believable face right there on Simon. I guess she didn't want to alter it any kind of way because it was at the side of you. But see what I'm saying? I just look like you could just pull that off or you could flip that or he's just holding a, a mask. You can't see the the uh, piece of stick he's holding. But of course, and see, I don't think that's face tune. I think that's really him. But it's a far away version. You see what I'm saying? Oh, Portia just really, 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 really won't just give up the ghost when it comes to Simon looks. And I don't understand it. I mean, he ain't bad on the eyes. You know what I'm saying? He all right. <clears throat> it's not what Portia used to uh, call herself dating. You know, more attractive men, younger men, more men that suits her age group or suited to her age group. But I see he was doing stuff real nice for Portia. That's a good thing. Good thing. Keep your woman happy. You won't have any problems in the future. Okay? And then we got baby girl, PJ. She's just all into the moment there. Yes, she is all in the moment. Love to see her. I don't like to see her on that nasty ass flow, but that's not. That's neither here nor there. It's her child. She wants her to catch every kind of germs on that flow, come back home sick as hell, and then she kissing her in the mouth. You know, and she was just kissing her all, all the time with his cigar breath. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Portia, pull up. You don't need to be kissing that baby girl in the mouth when you sitting there kissing that man. Okay, that's that's added more germs. Okay, uh, it was cute at one time when you were single or or whatever with Dennis, whatever y'all had going on. At least that was care between y'all three. But you kissing on Simon, you ain't gonna kiss on baby girl. Da da da. It's not sanitary. And uh, oh boy, I see Miss PJ gave you some lipstick. Now I don't know if that was a uh uh. uh, uh what do you call it, for the optics, to say, say she got you something or whatever. Uh, but, yeah, you know, we ain't really going to go into it too much because, you know, Simon could have did better. He could have took her somewhere and brought her, well, we don't want him to go too much anywhere with uh with her by his ourselves. So let me just retract that. I mean, some planning could have went on to, in this. I mean, Lauren is her assistant there. She could have, you know, took PJ to the store somewhere around Paris, France, or whatever, and got her a little cute, cute something. But she, she going to pull out some lipstick. Oh, okay. That's staged, all right? That is staged, Portia. Just like this man's head is staged. It kind of looks like a cartoon character. Don't <laughs> my father's eye look like a cartoon character. I'm like, girl, if you don't stop using fine uh, face tunes on this man... Girl, just accept what he is, how he looks, and be done with it, okay? Because we're going to be done with it. I mean, like I said, he ain't no bad-looking man, but he ain't the man you trying to portray in them face tunes, okay? So, I'm I'm really, like, 
I'm disgusting with you right about now, Portia, because, you know, we keep trying to go through the show and prove and be a better person in society, but you still be coming with this F shit all the time. And I see that little pedestrian wanting to get into y'all filming session. Hmm. Who was taking them pictures, girl? Who was taking them pictures? Was it Lauren, your assistant again, or was your uh, sister Lauren? Or did you hire someone for the occasion, Portia? Let us sister know, because we already be nosy over here all the time. And um, PJ looks like she's having a wonderful time. I don't know. PJ might be a little a person in algae culture. What y'all think? Or a track runner? Because that, that little girl, no, she can run. And I seen her in action on uh, Easter, I think it was. They were trying to hide Easter eggs. And that girl got to take it off there. I said, Oh, Lord, where'd she get that running from? Oh, like she running like she don't stole something. But that's not here nor there. The child is a, a track star. Yes, yeah, she's a runner. She's a track star. All right. Or she just like outside. You know, I'm like, what are you going to be a, a, a agriculturalist or something in that field, Miss Girl, Miss Little Person? You. And we never doubted that Portia ever loved her daughter. We must love her daughter. She did some stupid ass things around her daughter sometimes. Uh, with questionable, but. Never questioning her loyalty or her love for baby girl PJ because that's really is her mini me. But she don't definitely don't need to be kissing her in her mouth. Oh, you know, it's cute when they were like little and you just want to eat them all up when they're you're toting around. But when they come two and three, <laughs> woo, they are very susceptible to catching colds. So we don't know what you be doing. We don't know if you be slobbing on that law, uh, that law that uh, father time got. If you can even get it up. I don't know. We don't know if you do that type of stuff. So we just be thinking about you all and that smoking cigar and you drinking a hen and he, I don't know what the hell he's drinking. Uh, and then you're going to put that on PJ. I, we, don't, we don't want to hear that. We don't want to see that. Okay. That's nasty. Nasty. That's nasty, nasty. like that nasty ass flow. Okay. Like that nasty ass flow. That girl tossing and turning around on. I just can't. I won't. Uh, We're going to move on from that subject. Okay. But um, I kind of noticed her edges was getting a little thin in the front portion. I, I just had to tell you that, girl. Because you don't have to have baby hair come down. Put that hair back. Brush it backwards. It don't have to always be in the front and lay with this gel and shit you use. Because I saw one picture I didn't like. Of course, she like she got a little gap in her head and top uh, in the front of part. And that's because you're messing around too much with her hair. Putting all this gel and shit on there. But... That's another here, another there. We're talking about Father Time and what he had did for you. <clears throat> but I got another video coming out because I, I, I don't like the optics. I really don't. I'm like, if y'all do PJ, y'all have her set up being royalty and all that, taking her to Paris, France. What about your other kids? Which, that would have been a perfect uh, getaway for both girls to be together. And I'm talking about your daughter, Simon, your youngest daughter. That could have been a very educational trip for you as well as your your biological daughter, okay? And PJ and her would have been running around in that guard at whatever hotel or motel y'all staying at, child. It would have been a happy event <clears throat> because you got people that you brought, uh, such as a nanny, uh, and you probably had Lauren taking pictures. If you had two or three people as an entourage, certainly you could have convinced her mother to let her come on that trip with PJ. It's just like I'm seeing a one-sided thing. I'm seeing PJ with you and y'all doing all these glorified, wonderful masterpieces of outings. And then when I see your kids, you got them on a sailboat, okay? Going to nowhere. Don't nobody want to. The kids don't want to play in on a boat. They want to be out there running around and playing tag and, and uh, uh, Simon says and uh that's a uh, little thing where they dug, dug goose. They want to do some shit like that. But I'll never, I swear, I have never seen you treat them kids the way Portia treats her daughter. And I think that is so un highly unfair. Because the graduation pictures y'all took, that was piss poor. Piss poor. And if you were so liked by your exes, uh, as you want us to believe, you could have just went on the guy and took one big trip. The two girls, and you probably want to take the boys somewhere, you know, at another event. But that would have been a good social event, a good connection event with both girls coming together. But you missed the play on that. You went all the way south, and you brought a nanny. 
and probably Lauren because she's probably the photographer and PJ. Okay. Now, PJ wanted somebody to play with, as you could tell, because she was twirling around on that damn floor. She don't want to play with no grown-ups. She don't want to play with no nannies. She just want to play with herself and somebody else little like her. Y'all don't ever think about the kid. Damn, y'all always been thinking about y'all self. I but that's all I got for this video, guys. Y'all look out for the next one, because I don't, I don't like how uh, Simon Gabbardi had his one daughter look at the youngest daughter. And I'm like, one of my uh, family members on YouTube uh, sent me this picture. And I'm like, damn, it look like the girl homeless or something. Did you come around here talking about you a billionaire? Man, get the hell out of here. Okay, but I'll be on your ass again next video time. I'll be on you next video. So make sure y'all come back. Y'all stay locked and loaded to the channel. So when I drop videos, you get that notification bell button. You know what is coming. You know I don't drop something. You need to come on over here with me so we can talk, okay? So we can ASAP talk about conversations we're having about the people we're talking about, okay? And I'll see y'all next video, guys.